प्रैक्टिकल माने तो हमने जो कल नोट शेयर किए हैं जो फर्स्ट नोट है उसमें कुछ क्वेश्चन है उसको सॉल्व करके भेजना है मुझे एक बार और मिलेगा क्या व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में है सर आप व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में हैं उसमें दिल ले सकते हैं कल का सेशन खत्म होने के बाद जो पहले नोट शेयर किए हैं उसको देखिएगा के नीचे मैंने लिखा है प्लीज रीड इट सॉल्व इट एंड सेंड इट वो मैसेज भी लिखा है नीचे वो सॉल्व कीजिए सो दोस्तों so dear and respected all the scholars most welcome in our this uh, seventh day session so i humbly welcome to all of you and uh, this community uh, dr munmohan mondal ji is also here so let's see one minute uh, my camera is not probably working <laughs> now good now you now you can start yeah camera. yeah good evening sir yeah, good evening. yeah today we are going to have our last session so i wish all of our students should be there okay is there she has joined from tomorrow we will definitely miss this time because almost for 7 days we were working hand in hand so it was nice experience the journey was something that i mean i will really cherish for my rest of my life i mean something we have really experienced very good okay so first sir uh, very warm yeah. welcome thank you so will we start session yeah yeah definitely definitely sir understand okay is it visible to all yes sir yes. yeah yes sir visible thanks so our today's session is regarding world wide best museums with best museums in india so here you can just uh, see a map before before watching this map have you an any imagination any idea regarding what is the best museum what's the meaning of a best museum what is the best best kya sochna hai wo dekhenge okay तो so, यहाँ पर आप सामने जो स्क्रीन देख रहे हैं उसमें कई सारे म्यूजियम्स के नाम आपको दिखाई देते हैं सो so, शांघाई चाइना से लेकर लंदन यूके न्यूयॉर्क वाशिंगटन अलग अलग ओके okay, इसमें इंडिया का मैप नहीं है सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट ये माई टूरिस्ट मैप्स पर से लिया हुआ मैप है डोंट वरी ओके टॉप ट्वेंटी म्यूजियम बाय विजिटर्स जो दुनिया में सबसे ज्यादा जो फुटफॉल जिन म्यूजियम्स का है So, ऐसे म्यूजियम्स के नाम याद दिए हैं जैसे लूव है पेरिस का इट्स समटाइम्स इट्स प्रोनाउंस है लूवरे ओके सो लूव लू म्यूजियम इन पेरिस फ्रांस दैन नेशनल म्यूजियम ऑफ चाइना नेशनल म्यूजियम ऑफ नेचुरल हिस्ट्री नेशनल एयर एंड स्पेस म्यूजियम ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम वैटिकन म्यूजियम्स लाइक दैट सो वाई वाई इट्स आर टॉप ट्वेंटी म्यूजियम्स बिकॉज ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ द विजिटर्स ओके बट आवर आवर Definition is start with the best. So what's the best? So what's वो आपको नोट करना है प्लीज कीप यूर पेन एंड नोटबुक विथ यू एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट वॉट द बेस्ट ओके कैन सी फ्यू मोर म्यूजियम हियर जस्ट आई पुट वन नंबर इन इंडिया ऑलरेडी शो नियर महात्मा गांधी म्यूजियम ऑफ न्यू दिल्ली बट आई हैव पुट वन नंबर वन हियर एंड आई मेन्शन हियर नेम छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज वस्तु संग्रहालय फॉर्मरली विच नोट आई एम प्रिंस ऑफ वेल्स म्यूजियम ओके सो इट्स ऑफ मुंबई कभी अगर आप में से किसी ने विजिट किया होगा तो शायद आपको पता होगा कि ये म्यूजियम क्या है एंड इट्स अ रियली अ बेस्ट म्यूजियम मैं जो समझता हूं उसमें से 80% जिसको मैं बेस्ट कह सकूं ऐसा मैं कह सकता हूं कि छत्रपति शिवाजी म्यूजियम है फ्यू पॉइंट्स जिसमें और डेवलपमेंट होने के चांसेस है क्योंकि ये जब आप इसके बारे में ज्यादा सोचेंगे तब आपको पता चलेगा कि देर इज अ स्कोप फॉर फ्यूचर डेवलपमेंट जैसे हम टॉपिक्स अगर सब्जेक्ट्स अगर देखेंगे अलग अलग सो म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट म्यूजियम फ्रॉम अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सो मे बी यू नो अबाउट द म्यूजियम इन बेंगलोर सो इट्स एन वंडरफुल म्यूजियम ऑफ म्यूजिक सो संगीत के बारे में जब बात करते हैं सो सब्जेक्ट वाइज तो यहाँ पर थोड़ा सा देखेंगे जिनको साइंस की साइंस में इंटरेस्टेड होगा इंडिया में नेशनल साइंस म्यूजियम्स कहाँ कहाँ पर है थोड़ा सा यहाँ पर नजर डाल दीजिए 
ये आपको दिखाई देगा जैसे नागपुर मुंबई भोपाल और ये सभी यहाँ पर वर्ड लिखे है सो so, किसने किसी ने ये सोचा है कि नेशनल साइंस म्यूजियम की जरूरत क्या है यहाँ पर कुछ अनयूजुअल वर्ड यूज यूज रही है अनयूजुअल सो so, जिसके बारे में हम लोग जनरली सोचते नहीं ऐसे भी म्यूजियम जैसे सुलभ इंटरनेशनल म्यूजियम डॉल्स का म्यूजियम ये अलग अलग यूटेंसिल्स म्यूजियम सो ये क्या है अभी यहाँ इंडियन म्यूजियम कलकत्ता का नाम दिए है बट अभी कुछ गैलरीज यहाँ पर डेवलप होने जा रही है जो बहुत ज्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग बनेगी नेशनल म्यूजियम में भी और यहाँ पर भी तो ये कुछ नया थीम्स है जो बनेगा बट सम म्यूजियम्स ऑन इंटरनेशनल लेवल वी जस्ट गो थ्रू इट सो दिस इज द ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम लंडन ओके दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ म्यूजियम एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट टिकट ऑफ दैट म्यूजियम जस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट दिस इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट म्यूजियम इन द वर्ल्ड बट इट्स एन फ्री म्यूजियम सो हाउ वाइट फ्री क्योंकि यहाँ उन्होंने जो कलेक्शन किया है और ये सारा कलेक्शन जिस तरह से डिस्प्ले किए हैं जो भी वर्क अब तक उन्होंने किया है ये आप यहाँ देख रहे हैं देर आर अराउंड फिफ्टी गैलरीज ऑल गैलरीज आर नंबर एंड लोकेशन आर शोन ऑन फ्री म्यूजियम मैप अवेलेबल इन द ग्रेट कोर्ट ऑल ऑल गैलरीज आर फुल्ली एक्सेबल ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर डिस्प्लेड इन वॉल केसेस फ्री स्टैंडिंग केसेस एंड ऑन प्लिन None of the objects in the galleries may be touched. ये point को note कीजिए कुछ point जो आपको लगते हैं कि हमारे यहाँ जो कमी दिखाई देती है something which we need to improve ourselves. So उस points को note down कीजिए और last में आप share कीजिए okay? So groups may spend as long as they wish in a gallery and may move freely between different parts of the museum at a pace which suits them. Is it possible in our uh, museums uh, as much as long they wish? No, because I know that if there is a crowd, then the gallery assistants or the uh, some peoples, those who are authorized there, वो कहते हैं चलो चलो भाई चलो निकलो बाहर चलो क्योंकि भीड़ ज़्यादा है बाहर निकल आइए gallery assistants को छोड़ दीजिए हमारे teachers और professor जो students के साथ होते हैं वही बोलते हैं चलो 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 आगे चलो चलो आगे चलो so हमको जो comfortably देखना है जो visit करना है तो हम कुछ नॉलेज पाने के लिए जाते हैं ये पहले याद रखिए वी नीड टू वॉच द ऑब्जेक्ट केयरफुल वी शुड गेट सम नॉलेज फ्रॉम दैट ऑब्जेक्ट और फ्रॉम दैट डिस्प्ले वट एवर बी देर ओके सो ये आपको समझना है फोटोग्राफ्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट और यूर स्टूडेंट मे बी टेकन इन ऑल गैलरीज एंड पब्लिक स्पेसेस एट म्यूजियम इज इट पॉसिबल इन इंडिया यू कैन टेक द फोटोग्राफ्स इन ऑल म्यूजियम इंडियन म्यूजियम कलकत्ता के बारे में कई सारे स्कॉलर्स ने लास्ट सेशन में हमें कंप्लीट किया था कि सर व्हाई इट्स नॉट अलाउड देयर सो यू नीड टू आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन टू द क्यूरेटर्स ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ इंडियन म्यूजियम नॉट टू मी बिकॉज आई एम नॉट अथॉरिटी ऑफ दैट बट इफ प्रॉपर मैसेज अगर उन तक पहुंचेगा पब्लिक की तरफ से अगर ये प्रॉपरली होगा तब ये पॉसिबल होगा बट अगेन जस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू रिक्वेस्ट यू पहले पूरा संग्रहालय जो है ना उसे ठीक से देख लीजिएगा Today morning also I was visited Central Museum Nagpur with my family and some other friends there. But मैंने ये देखा कि हमारे बाद कई सारे youths वहाँ आए, उन्होंने सिर्फ कुछ जगह पर selfie ले लिए, कुछ जगह पर photo ले लिए, पर निकल गए. Within 15 minutes or within half an hour, 45 minutes like that. But uh, we we started our journey at 10 o'clock and uh, two uh, around 2:30 हमने संग्रहालय से हम बाहर ले आए. So it means around four and half hour. Four and half hour we visited that museum. हम लोग किस उद्देश्य से वहाँ गए? Photograph अगर लेना है तो पहले तो पूरा संग्रहालय ठीक से देखिएगा. फिर आपको कहाँ पर photo लेना है ये समझ में आएगा. वहाँ जाकर के आप photo लीजिएगा. No problem for taking the photographs, okay? But please try to understand first. Uh, try to uh, watch. Try to observe it carefully. And then after a complete visit, then you can take the photographs. अगर बहुत ही बड़ा स्पेस है एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जाने के लिए बहुत टाइम लगने वाला है सो यू शुड एटलीस्ट कंप्लीट दैट गैलरी एंड देन यू टेक द फोटोग्राफ बट फर्स्ट टेक द प्रॉपर इंफॉर्मेशन ओके देन चार्जेस यहाँ पर अगर देखेंगे तो देर इज नो चार्ज फॉर विजिटिंग द ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम गैलरी हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल इसका कारण क्या है इतना बड़ा म्यूजियम है मगर चार्ज नहीं है इसका कारण ये है कि इस संग्रहालय ने जो काम किए हैं उसको देखते हुए अभी तक बड़े बड़े जो रॉयल फैमिलीज या इंडस्ट्रीज या पब्लिक की तरफ से इतने डोनेशन इनको मिले हैं उसी में से ये पूरे संग्रहालय की सभी एक्टिविटियों को और संग्रहालय को मेंटेन कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज व्हाट 
द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हमारे यहाँ पर मुझे एक संग्रहालय ऐसा दिखाइए एटलीस्ट वन म्यूजियम कि जो इस तरह से हमारे यहाँ पर कार्य कर सकता है ओके सो मैं ये क्यों कह रहा हूँ क्योंकि हमें हमारी खुद की इंप्रूवमेंट के लिए स्कोप है सो वी नीड टू डू दैट प्लीज नोट डाउन दिस पॉइंट क्या आप कर सकते हैं दिस इज चैलेंज फॉर यू अगर आप कर सकते हैं करके दिखाइए मोस्ट वेलकम हमें भी खुशी होगी और सबके साथ आपको शेयर करें देर इज नो चार्ज फॉर यूजिंग द फैसिलिटीज इन द स्कूल देर इज यूजली चार्ज फॉर अटेंडिंग अट से प्री बुकड एजुकेशन ग्रुप में गो इन टू स्पेशल एग्जीबिशन फ्री ऑफ चार्ज सो बुकिंग विजिट प्री बुकिंग इज नीडेड वगैरह वो सभी उन्होंने यहाँ बाकी इंफॉर्मेशन दिए है टॉट सेशन उनके पास है म स्टाफ ट्रेवलिंग टू द म्यूजियम फैसिलिटीज एट द म्यूजियम यहाँ पर आप देखते हैं अगर किसी ने प्री बुकिंग किया तो एजुकेटर जो होते हैं वो उनको बहुत अच्छे से उनके रिक्वायरमेंट के अनुसार उनको प्रॉपरली इंफॉर्मेशन देते हैं सो so, हमारे देश में भी अभी कुछ म्यूजियम में ये शुरू हो चुका है दिस इज एन गुड थिंग अब यहाँ देखते हैं विजिट सपोर्ट लर्निंग इन द फॉलोइंग एरिया तो हिस्ट्री आर्ट एंड डिजाइन जियोग्राफी एंड साइंस दिस फोर आर द इम्पोर्टेंट तो हमारे यहाँ पर क्या विषय के अनुसार सब्जेक्ट वाइज जिसमें हम कहेंगे कि इस विषय में इस संग्रहालय में हम अच्छे से शिक्षा पा सकते हैं प्लीज नोट डाउन जैसे म्यूजिक के बारे में हमने बात की कि हमारा जो बेंगलोर का म्यूजियम है अट्रैक्शन होना बेस्ट डिस्प्ले होना इज एन डिफरेंट थिंग हमें वहां से कुछ अच्छी शिक्षा मिलना ये अलग बात है द एजुकेशन ओके सो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द एजुकेशन ऐसे म्यूजियम मुझे आप टॉपिक चॉइस कीजिए और मुझे बताइए सब्जेक्ट के अनुसार ये ऐसे म्यूजियम है कि जहां पर हम इस विषय की अच्छे से शिक्षा पा सकते हैं प्लीज नोट डाउन द सब्जेक्ट्स एंड नोट डाउन द म्यूजियम्स अकॉर्डिंग दैट सब्जेक्ट्स ओके एंड प्लीज शेयर इट विद मी दिस इज चैलेंज फॉर यू दिस इज द असाइनमेंट ओके जिनको दिल से रुचि है इंटरेस्ट है बाय हार्ट सो यू कैन यू कैन एक्सेप्ट इट नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज द एंटायर बिल्डिंग ऑफ द ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम then uh, this is the plan according this designs and this is the reception hall then this is the entire map this is the old one map this is the new one of the ground floor around 95 galleries over there so level 0 to 1 2 and uh, the complete 95 galleries but till then pura uh, collection jo hai usme se sirf abhi tak usme jo 3% permanent hai baki 7% jo hai wo change hote rehta hai तो इट्स एन आईसीओएम गाइडलाइन के अनुसार यहाँ पर आप ग्राउंड फ्लोर पर क्या देखने जैसा है ये आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पर द होली थॉन वगैरह ये सब सारी बातें जो शिवा नटराजा है इसके अंदर सो so, यहाँ कहना ये है क्या हमारे पास ऐसे म्यूजियम का मैप है कि जिसमें आप कह सकते हैं कि ग्राउंड फ्लोर पर आप ये देखेंगे तो बेस्ट है सेकेंड फ्लोर फर्स्ट फ्लोर पर ये देख सकते हैं सेकेंड फ्लोर पर ये देख सकते हैं हमारे पास अभी गाइड मैप बनने लगे है म्यूजियम मैप बनने लगे है जैसे नेशनल म्यूजियम का दस मिनटों में कीजिए से जब आप एंट्री करते हैं नेशनल म्यूजियम में तो वहां आपको मिल जाता है आप अगर काउंटर पर पूछेंगे तो मिल जाएगा ओके या सुविनियर शॉपिंग पे मिल जाता है साला जैन म्यूजियम में साला जैन म्यूजियम गाइड मैप मिल जाता है बट क्या कहीं पर हमको ये मिल सकता है कि आपके पास अगर समय कम है तो फर्स्ट फ्लोर पर कम से कम दीज आर दी बेस्ट अट्रैक्शन इसको देख लीजिए जैसे हमारे यहाँ पर आर्कियोलॉजिकल साइट्स पर होता है अजंता एलोरा कुछ छोटा सा बुक होता है ना दस फोटोग्राफ uh, होते हैं उसके पीछे लिखा होता है कि इसमें क्या इम्पोर्टेंट है सो लाइक दैट सो क्या हम ऐसा कुछ बना सकते हैं हमारे संग्रहालयों के लिए इन बातों को सोचे ओके okay? अब आप यहाँ पर देख रहे हैं उस ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम के कुछ स्पेशल अट्रैक्शन जो है उसको आप यहाँ देख रहे हैं uh, इसमें ज्यादा डेफ्थ में हम नहीं जाएंगे अगर आप सिर्फ जो है संग्रहालय कितना सुंदर है कुछ बातें यहाँ पर नोट कीजिए वाई इट इज ब्यूटिफुल वाई इट इज अट्रैक्टिव के कुछ पॉइंट्स आप इन फोटोग्राफ से खुद नोट कीजिए इसके बारे में हम डिस्कस नहीं करेंगे देन द लू म्यूजियम ऑफ पेरिस फ्रांस लू म्यूजियम और मॉस्को का जो सॉरी रशिया का जो हरमिताज म्यूजियम है सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग का इन दो म्यूजियम्स के बारे में ऐसा कहा जाता है ये दो संग्रहालय एक्चुअली ये म्यूजियम जो है पब्लिक के लिए यानी लास्ट की जब हम बात करते हैं तो ये एटीन सेवेंटी के बाद जो है वो मॉडर्न लुक आज का जो हम देख रहे हैं वो देख सकते हैं बट ये दो संग्रहालय ऐसे संग्रहालय है कि जहां पर हम हर एक चीज को एक मिनट भी अगर देखते चलेंगे तो ये ये संग्रहालय पूरे देखने के लिए आपको जो है सत्रह साल सेवनटीन इयर्स लगेंगे इतना कलेक्शन इनके पास डिस्प्ले में है ऐसा
कहा जाता है मैंने विजिट नहीं किया कि मैं इतने साल सत्रह साल तक मैंने विजिट नहीं किया है बट उसके जो डायरेक्टर लास्ट ईयर रिटायर हुए तो उन्होंने ये कहा ही वाज वर्कड देयर फॉर थर्टी सिक्स ईयर एंड ही मेंशन दैट अमॉन्ग सिक्स बिल्डिंग्स आई वाज विजिटेड टू बिल्डिंग्स कंप्लीटली तो छत्तीस साल के पूरे नौकरी के कार्यकाल में उन्होंने दो दो बिल्डिंग को विजिट किया है पूरा यानी देख पाए है ठीक से देख पाया हूँ मैंशन दैट मैं ठीक से देख पाया हूँ तो इससे आप समझ सकते हैं देन दिस इज द बेस्ट अट्रैक्शन एट आउटसाइड ऑफ द म्यूजियम और यहाँ जनरली लोग जो है सेल्फी लेने के लिए इसको यूज करते हैं बट सी द बिल्डिंग दिस ऑल आर ऑल बिल्डिंग्स आर ऑफ द म्यूजियम एंड द मोस्ट फेमस वन इज द मोनालिसा का जो पेंटिंग है वहां का उसके साथ साथ यहाँ पर आप उसके इन साइड व्यू को देख सकते हैं तो दे आर द हिस्टोरिक हाउस म्यूजियम बट टिल देन यू सी द मेंटेनेंस द ब्यूटी एंड द क्लीननेस सभी बातों को the uh, work जिसको हम कहते हैं ना कि conservation preservation work जो हमको कुछ uh, समय के अंतराल के बाद properly करते रहना है तभी जाकर के वो ठीक से दिखाई देंगे वगैरह ये सारी बातें जो है आप इसमें देख सकते हैं then ये first museum doors were opened to the public in August 1793 during the French Revolution when the museum was called as first empire of Napoleon so this is an interesting thing then visiting of the museum uska ticket wagera kya hai uske bare mein jankari yahan diye hai to ye baatein hamare yahan par bhi hum note kar sakte hain aur dusri baat hai ki unka jo opening time hai 9 to 6 aur ye sabhi baatein so yahan aur ek baat hai ki lu museum ke liye specially kyunki kuch isme jo likha hai hamare yahan bhi ye hota hai agar school aur colleges ke trips agar aane wale hai aur un logon ne रिक्वेस्ट किया स्पेशल अगर ये किया तो उनके लिए उस दिन संग्रहालय खोला जाता है हमारे यहाँ भी हमने ये ट्रेन शुरू किया मुझे पता नहीं बाकी म्यूजियम्स का बट हमारा म्यूजियम जहाँ हमारे पास सौ लोगों का म्यूजियम में स्टाफ है तो हमारे यहाँ भी ऐसे अगर रिक्वेस्ट आते थे तो इतना बड़ा म्यूजियम एक्चुअली एक म्यूजियम शुरू करने के लिए बड़े म्यूजियम में क्या होता है अगर किसी को अगर आइडिया है तो एक म्यूजियम को शुरू करना है माने तो लगभग सेवन जो लाइट्स है उसको ऑन करना है उसके साथ साथ जो है अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड सीसीटीवी कैमरा ऑन होना है फिर उसके बाद जो है अराउंड वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टन एसी जो है वो शुरू होगा ये सारी बातें निर्भर होती है बट वी आर फॉर द सोसाइटी तो स्कूल और कॉलेज के बच्चों के ट्रिप जब आएंगे तो स्पेशल सर्विस के बाद में ये हो सकता है सो so, ये बातें जो है कुछ हमें सीखने की आवश्यकता है और यहाँ पर मगर उसके लिए जो प्रावधान करने हैं ना जैसे हम कहते हैं कि इलेक्ट्रिसिटी का बिजली का बचत होना है ये जो भी है उसके लिए हमको सोलर पैनल एनर्जी वगैरह जो है वो सब फैसिलिटीज हमको करके रखना होगा तब जा करके वो अफोर्डेबल भी होगा ये संग्रहालय के लिए भी मैं बात कर रहा हूँ तो इंटरेस्टिंग कार्ड यहाँ पर कुछ दिए हुए है पब्लिक के लिए कब खुला और ये सारी बातें बट टिल देन यू जस्ट सिर्फ फोटोग्राफ्स को आप देखिए यूनिक म्यूजियम कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड Now this is the Hermitage Museum. So it is in Saint Petersburg in Russia. This is also one of the most beautiful museum. Uh, see the paintings, drawings, and sculptures over here. I will share one video with you so that you can enjoy this entire museum for five and half hours. साढे पांच घंटे का ये चिड़ी क्वालिटी का एक वीडियो बनाया इस म्यूजियम के बारे में. अब मैं आपको उसका लिंक शेयर करूँगा. If you are really interested. जैसे फिल्म देखने के लिए तीन घंटे समय देते हैं ना कृपया ये संग्रहालय पूरा देखने के लिए दिस इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट म्यूजियम इन वर्ल्ड सो कृपया आपका समय दीजिए और वो साढ़े पांच घंटे इस म्यूजियम को देखिए रियली अमेजिंग अगर पॉसिबल हुआ तो बड़े स्क्रीन पर देखने का प्रयास कीजिए इफ इट इज पॉसिबल प्रोजेक्टर स्लाइड वगैरह अगर प्रोजेक्टर वगैरह करके या कुछ भी प्रावधान करके बड़ा स्क्रीन कंप्यूटर टीवी जो भी है आपके पास उस पर देखिएगा ताकि अच्छे से देख पाएंगे ओके So thus, the museum was founded in 1764 by Catherine the Great and has been open to the public since 1852. एक महिला के द्वारा एक रानी के द्वारा ये संग्रहालय शुरू किया गया था. Note down this, okay? एक महिला के द्वारा या एक रानी के द्वारा ये संग्रहालय शुरू किया गया था. Can you say the museum which was founded by a lady in India? एक महिला ने शुरू किया हुआ संग्रहालय कोई बता सकते हैं? Please note down this question and try to answer it in chat box or at the end of the session. Okay. Then today the Hermitage is a complex museum, the main exhibition of which is located in five buildings situated in the center of this Petersburg along the Neva River. So see the beauty on the bank of this river. 
जैसे हमारे यहाँ वाराणसी को देखते हैं वैसे आपको ये देखने के बाद ये बिल्डिंग देखने के बाद ये सुंदरता और मेरे ख्याल से इसको मैं कहता हूँ इट्स एन ब्यूटी ऑफ नॉलेज ज्ञान की सुंदरता है ये ओके सो द स्टेट हेमिटाज म्यूजियम देर कैन बी काउंटेड नियर थ्री मिलियन ऑफ आर्ट वर्क ओके एंड मॉन्यूमेंट इन दर्ल्ड कल्चर इट इंक्लूड पेंटिंग स्कल्पर ग्राफिक आर्ट आर्कोलॉजिकल फाइंड एंड मेनी अदर इंटरेस्टिंग मटेरियल सी द ब्यूटी ऑफ द बिल्डिंग टू आउटसाइड से भी कितना ब्यूटिफुली मेंटेन किया हुआ है हमारे पास भी मुंबई जैसे शहरों में कलकत्ता जैसे शहरों में ब्यूटीफुल बिल्डिंग्स है बट आर वी रियली मेंटेन इट आर्किटेक्चर की जब हम बात करते हैं उसका मेंटेनेंस हम कर पाते हैं सी द ब्यूटी इन साइड स्टेप से लेकर के सभी दीवारों को वॉल को देखिए धूल मट्टी तक हमारे यहाँ के बिल्डिंग के साफ करने के लिए जो है प्रॉब्लम्स है शोके से इसके अंदर डस्ट जमा है मगर उसको साफ करने के लिए प्रॉब्लम्स है वाई इट हैपन इज नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट अगेन जस्ट आई हम्बली वॉन्ट टू से दैट You can't blame to the government. We, the peoples, we have no uh, uh, knowledge about the importance of the museums or the archives. So, because of that lack of the knowledge, such things happened. Okay? Agar society ko jis din iska matto pata chalega, we all the historians and the uh, history lovers or the archives and museums, science, jo bhi students hai, jinko iske baare mein matto lagta hai, ham logon ko ye kam karne ki. तैयारी रखनी होगी ओके यहाँ पर फिर हम जो है इसके अलग अलग बिल्डिंग्स और अलग अलग व्यूज देख सकते हैं ऑडिटोरियम एंड दिस हॉल रियली सो ब्यूटीफुल ऑल दिस बिल्डिंग्स द विंटर पैलेस और उसका व्यू यहाँ पर दिखा है दीज आर डिफरेंट फाइव बिल्डिंग दिस इज अ स्मॉल हर्मिटेज देन द ओल्ड हर्मिटाज दिज ऑल डिफरेंट बिल्डिंग्स ओवर देयर एंड यू कैन सी ओवर यर हर्मिटाज थिएटर सो ये उन्हीं के इसमें जैसे हमारे संग्रहालय में आजकल ऑडिटोरियम बनते हैं So see the beautiful auditorium. कैसे एक बेस्ट ऑडिटोरियम बना सकते हैं उसका एक एग्जाम्पल है मेरे लिए हमने हमारे म्यूजियम में भी एक ऑडिटोरियम बनाया मगर उस समय मैंने ये ये नहीं देखा था ये ये जानकारी नहीं ली थी अदरवाइज हम भी कुछ ऐसा यूनिक और बेस्ट बना सकते थे हमने जो बनाया जनरल स्टाइल से बनाया मगर देखने के बाद अध्ययन करने के बाद अब हमने दूसरा ऑडिटोरियम बनाया छोटे छोटे साइज में बनाया बट उसको हमने इस तरह से बनाया है सो so, ये देख के हम सीख सकते हैं ओके सो सच टाइप ऑफ डिफरेंट वर्क आर देर ओरियंटल कल्चर यू कैन सी ओवर हियर एंड सी द स्टाइल ऑफ द डिस्प्ले एंड जो हॉल वगैरह किए हैं एंटिक कल्चर्स यहाँ कुछ बातें बेस्ट के साथ साथ कुछ बातें ड्रॉबैक्स जो है उसको भी आप नोट कर सकते हैं इफ यू कैन ओके तो आप नोट कर सकते हैं यहाँ आपको वो दिखाई देता है जैसे हमने ब्रिटिश म्यूजियम के इसमें कहा था कि किसी भी चीज को कोई स्पर्श नहीं कर सकता वहां पर बट यहाँ आप देख सकते हैं और कुछ कमी है उसको आप नोट डाउन कर सकते हैं ओके सो द रूम ऑफ पॉइंट्स एंड मेडल्स आल्सो हियर नाउ यू कैन सी ओवर हियर दिस ऑल शोकेसेस अभी तो ये चेंज हो गए हैं ये पूरे शोकेसेस जो है अभी ये चेंज हो गए हैं बट रिसेंट फोटोग्राफ्स मेरे पास नहीं है बट मैंने इसका जो रिपोर्ट लास्ट ईयर का रिपोर्ट जो पढ़ा उसमें बताया है कि उन्होंने ये सारे शोकेसेस को भी चेंज कर दिए है and the uh, interesting places over there this the type of impressed the visitors so the room which covers 800 square meters and it is decorated in the whitest marble and this clay stones so it's a really beautiful views hamare yahan par bhi is tarah se kuch museums hai and mallet rooms ye alag alag is tarah ke room hai so see the beauty of these all things and see the maintenance of that too then uh, another views of the uh, this different galleries सी द मेंटेनेंस उसका क्लियरिटी जो है उसको देख के पता चलता है देन वेन आई वॉज विजिटेड इन न्यूयॉर्क इन यूएस इन 2019 उस समय हमने वहां पे अमेरिकन म्यूजियम ऑफ नेशनल हिस्ट्री एंड न्यूयॉर्क हिस्ट्री सोसाइटी वॉशिंगटन डीसी अलग अलग म्यूजियम्स को जो विजिट किए उसके बारे में यहाँ पर आप देख सकते हैं ये सब कुछ यानी इतनी बड़ी बड़ी बिल्डिंग है इतनी बड़ी चीजों को यहाँ आई है मगर एक बात मैं आपको क्लियरली यहाँ पर करना चाहूंगा Uh, when first day we visited over here, तो टिकट काउंटर पर हमने ये कहा कि टिकट निकाले बगैर मुझे जो है डायरेक्टली सोवेनियर शॉपिंग में जाकर के कुछ खरीदना है इनका सोवेनियर शॉपिंग यहाँ मेन एंट्री डोर में नहीं है तो उन्होंने कहा कि नो प्रॉब्लम आप जा सकते हैं और ले सकते हैं उसके लिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है सी द ट्रस्ट विश्वास है और दूसरी बात है कि संग्रहालय में जो जो डिस्प्लेस किए हुए है उसके बारे में जो भी बुकलेट या इंफॉर्मेशन ब्राउशर जो भी चाहिए वो फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट मिल जाता है उसके लिए कोई पैसे नहीं देना पड़ेगा आपको यूएस में जहां पर भी मैं गया यूएस से लेकर कनाडा तक जहां पर भी मैं गया तो 
तो हर जगह पर इंटरप्रिटेशन सेंटर्स या शॉप मॉल जो है हर जगह पर आपको हेरिटेज साइट्स के बारे में म्यूजियम्स के बारे में ये सारे बुकलेट्स वगैरह जो है ये फ्री मिल जाते हैं तो इसके लिए फंडिंग कौन करता है गवर्नमेंट करती है भाई हमारे यहाँ पर ऐसी चीजों के लिए गवर्नमेंट के पास पैसे नहीं है हमारे पास तो स्टाफ भी नहीं है सो वाई इट्स अगेन नॉट द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इट्स द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड वी ओके इसको समझिएगा ये चक्र है दिस इज एंड विल तो इसको समझने के बाद हम इसको सॉल्व कर पाएंगे तो so, वहां पर ऐसे कुछ हिस्टोरिक पार्क है तो so, जहां आपको हेरिटेज पार्क जिसको हम कहेंगे इस तरह के पार्क है वहां भी विजिट किए देन नेशनल म्यूजियम ऑफ नेचुरल हिस्ट्री वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्मिथानियन नेशनल म्यूजियम ऑफ नेचुरल हिस्ट्री एंड विच म्यूजियम कंटेन वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स मिलियन स्पेसमेंट ऑफ प्लांट्स एनिमल फॉसिल्स मिनरल वॉक्स सी द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस म्यूजियम आर यू नो एनी थिंग अबाउट द बेस्ट नेचुरल हिस्ट्री म्यूजियम इन इंडिया Can you say few names? Natural History Museums in India, okay? और वहाँ क्या condition है वो भी देखिए. Delhi का incident सबको मालूम है. Mumbai के Natural History Museum के बारे में कुछ पता है? वहाँ क्या situations है और वहाँ कितना best collections है? Salim Ali जैसे लोगों ने जो work किए हैं उसके बारे में भी कुछ सोचेंगे. This is the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. यहाँ पर आप देख रहे हैं इतनी इतनी चीजों को इतने best तरीके से वहाँ पर exhibit किया हुआ है. तो दिस इज एक्चुअली हमारे पास भी मीग और उसके बारे में एयरक्राफ्ट म्यूजियम हमारे पास भी है बेंगलोर में है हमारे यहाँ नासिक में है बट वॉट द कंडीशन कैन यू सी इतना जो ये दिख रहा है इतना ही सुंदर क्या हमें दिखाई देता है कैनेडी स्पेस सेंटर है म्यूजियम ऑफ मॉडर्न आर्ट हुमा का है यूएसएस मिडवे म्यूजियम है नाइन इलेवन मेमोरियल म्यूजियम है यहाँ का अनुभव करके देखिए वहां जाने के बाद वहां की जानकारी जब सुनते हैं तब आपको पता चलेगा कि ये कितने इंटरेस्टिंग है वर्ल्ड वॉर टू म्यूजियम म्यूजियम नेशनल गैलरी ऑफ आर्ट इन वॉशिंगटन डीसी मेट्रोपॉलिटन म्यूजियम ऑफ आर्ट न्यूयॉर्क वाला उजी गैलरी इटली फ्लोरेंस का जो है देन पार्डो म्यूजियम ये सिर्फ नाम नोट कीजिए मैं रिकॉर्डिंग शेयर करूंगा फिर एक बार ये नाम नोट कर लीजिए गूगल कर लीजिए उनकी जानकारी पढ़ लीजिए क्योंकि इतने समय में मैं सबको कवर नहीं कर पाऊंगा सो उसके लिए मैं क्षमा चाहता हूँ इजिप्शियन म्यूजियम की बात करते ना वी लेटर सी द इंडियन म्यूजियम हेरिटेज एंड हियर I humbly request to uh, Dr. Munmun Mondal ji, uh, please come over here and uh, please proceed. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just a thank minute. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much. Uh, I think I am going to upload my presentation now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I am going to upload. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, okay. Okay, yes. okay. You keep it. You, you share the presentation. I have already shared with you. Okay. I think uh, Dr. Bobade has given a very fair. Uh, idea of the one of the important museum across the globe now i am moving to the very important museum of indian subcontinent but before moving to that i must say i will move from north east west and then south i mean that will be fair for us to understand and to follow probably so keeping that in mind the first museum i have chosen in northern india that is singh museum commonly we know this museum as a sps museum it is located in srinagar jammu and kashmir and the most striking i mean striking fact of this museum is it was established in 1890 and it is housing more than 1 lakh objects at present northern india it is i mean making a very very important contribution but if i go through the history of its origin it is very surprising that in 1889 a proposal for the foundation of an archaeology museum in the indian city in the, of srinagar was formulated amarsing and is uh, good may god mary basically and singh was an officer in an army while god mary was a scholar so this posed and submitted the memoranda to maharaj pratap singh of jammu and kashmir of srinagar and amar Elder brother, and the Maharaj accepted and proposed accepted the proposal and agreed to allow the establishment of a museum. This new institution would house artifacts. Initially, it was finalized from Jammu, Kashmir, Baltistan, and Gilgit. The strategic location of this museum is just mind blowing. The located inside a state-owned building near the Jhelum River. Okay. 
Later on, the establishment of this museum was overseen by Sir John Marshall. I think, I mean, most of us are very much familiar with this name. He was a British archaeologist, uh, the Director General of Archaeological Survey of India, and who was renowned for his work in preserving the Archaeological Survey of India. This uh, space for public in 1898 with its first collection consisting of five Maharaja Prabhat Singh's palace treasury. Now I am moving to the National Museum, New Delhi. Here I would like to share the history of the formation of the National Museum that we see in the in the in the in our capital, Indian capital, New Delhi. Now, though the Vista project is going on and there is a plan to move the museum to some other locations, I am not going in this discussion. Throw light uh, um, how this museum came to existence. Basically. An exhibition of Indian art consisting of artifacts from various museums, basically of Indian subcontinent, and sponsored by Royal Academy of London with the co cooperation of the government of India, was on display in the winter months in, the, in 1947 48 in the galleries of Burlington House, London. The exhibition was when these objects came back from London. There was a huge confusion where this object will be housed. Okay. And the exhibit, exhibited objects were, I mean, there was no such place. So these exhibit, exhibited objects were kept in the state room of Rashtrapati Bhavan in 1949. And this National Museum came, came into existence. They felt that, I mean, they need a, I mean, a structure where they can build a national museum and from this concept the national museum uh, that is in new delhi it came in existence so i think all of us i mean most of us have seen the museum in, into much discussion about the museum uh, the important thing those uh, for them the museum also houses national museum institute of history of arts conservation which was added as a different section in 1983. In 1989, this section runs different courses in history of arts, conservation and museology for master and doctoral degrees. Okay, so if anybody of you are interested, you can join these courses. There are courses, PhD courses, and it covers all departments, archaeology, Decorative art, jewelry section, manuscripts, textiles, anthropology, pre Columbian uh, American collection, Western art collections. Things. Then I am going to move Akshadhan Temple Museum. I think uh, some of you have visited the museum. And the exhibitions are displayed in three large halls, each with a very unique display style. It is basically a source of education, information, and inspiration. They are a fourfold combination of art, science, culture, and spirituality. This means unique in terms of, of, of its spiritual uh, attributes, basically, if I say. Okay. Then I, I am moving very first so that we can complete an idea of the important museum. Then I'm moving to the National Rail Museum, New Delhi. Uh, it is located in the vicinity of Chanakapuri, the Rail Museum to preserve the 163 years of old railway heritage in Indian subcontinent. All know the railway, this concept came into India by the Britishers. And going to complete the almost 200 years very soon. So this museum plays a very important role. Okay, this museum spread over 10 acres of land. It was established in 1977. The Royal Museum possesses an exciting collection of around 100 real size ex exhibits in Indian Railway, both working and static and antiquities, furniture and all these things. Okay, specimens are uh, definitely there, and sitting adjoining uh, are some miniature models, all of which are prohibited from being photographed. Then, uh, National Gallery of Modern Art, uh, we, we generally call it NGMA, it's a senior gallery under the Ministry of Culture, Government of India. The main museum at Jai Delhi was established in 29th March 1954 by the government branches in Mumbai and Bangalore. Still, they are having branches. This is national art. And what is the uniqueness of this? Uh, 
with 1200 square meters of exhibition space one of the world's largest modern art museum they are having amazing collection of raja ravi varma thomas daniel avanindranath tagore robindranath tagore gaganindranath tagore nandalal bose jamini dai amrita sergil as well as foreign artists okay uh, now i am moving to the national gandhi museum delhi the national gandhi museum or gandhi memorial museum that we know in a more colloquial way is a museum located it is focusing the life and principles of mahatma gandhi this museum was shortly after the gandhi was assassinated in 1948 and this museum located in several places okay before moving to rajghat okay gandhi was assassinated in 1948 and shortly after his death collectors began searching india for another anything about gandhi and during this time this originally the personal items newspapers books related of madhva taken from mumbai and ultimately it came into existence now the national science museum delhi it is also is in delhi and a part of national council of science museum generally we call it ncsm as an autonomous body under the ministry of culture it is near pragati i think some uh, i mean definitely the students must visit it it's a very very dynamic museum then i am moving to a very interesting museum the shankar international dolls museum i think for the children it is a amazing museum because museum is a lot is having a large collection of dolls which was k shankar pillai a political cartoonist i mean basically from his his uh, imagination this con collection of dolls are classified into two parts one part consists of the dolls of western countries such as uk usa australia new zealand commonwealth and one other part that is from asian countries middle east and india okay now i am moving to elahabad museum prayag uttar pradesh it is uh, also a national level museum in new ministry of culture the rock art gallery basically it is the premier for archaeologists historians academicians and carries out extensive activities it's a most uh, striking feature i will must i mean museum is having a tremendous collection of russian painter nikola rorich this is the museum i mean you will be i mean surprised to see its collection they are having a very good nehru and literary personalities of elahabad they are having a gallery on it they are having uh, sculptures antiquities coins ceramics all these things and after that i am moving to the eastern india uh, i think uh, when i am talking about most important museum is indian museum because indian museum is the largest museum in southeast asia the museum owes its origin from asiatic society and it was founded in 1814 and uh, first curator was a natural walich he was a danish botanist and the board of trustee were formed in 1866 the present building of indian museum that for public is 1978 almost 43 years ago okay uh, so uh, indian museum uh, the main is for archaeological gallery botanical gallery egyptian gallery uh, egypt having the mummy i think that is the best specimen i have ever seen the british museum what gobad sir has already discussed british museum is having many mummies but uh, this uh, this this uh, indian is having one mummy i mean in display zoological gallery and geological gallery are coming cunningham when he excavated bharu to the archaeological site still uh, in, in in indian museum that is very very important that is the original one it has been housed there okay an indian museum recently celebrated its bicentenary anniversary uh, with a great flavor uh, i mean in, in basically it was 14 february and the splendid collection and museum takes you back to witness our fascinating past now i am moving to the uh, second one of historia memorial why it is important because victoria memorial is a large marble uh, of west bengal which was built in 1906 during the reign of britishers it is dedicated in the memory the empress of uh, 
of India and now it has turned into a museum under the Ministry of Culture. Uh, it is located in the Chorangi basically. It is having 25 galleries and uh, beautiful paintings, especially the works of Thomas Daniel and his nephew Daniel are housed there. Uh, if anyone is interested to visit Calcutta, definitely you must visit Victoria Memorial. And the next museum I must mention, because I am very much attached to this museum of my PhD and postdoctoral, because Ashutosh Museum of Indian Art, it is rich because it is the first university museum in Indian subcontinent. It was opened with only and only five artifacts, okay? And it is having more than 40,000 artifacts, mostly or all are the specimen from West Bengal and Bangladesh. Uh, um, mostly Paharpur, now in, um, the site is located in Bangladesh, Banga, Chandraketikar excavated materials are there. Now I am moving to a very different kind of museum that is in Sikkim. Interested to visit Sikkim, he or she must visit this museum that is now Tibetology Museum in Gantok. It is also a very old museum in it established in 1958. I think I am just mentioning the name because uh, we are having only 20 minutes around. Uh, and so I am moving a little first. My must add that is Bihar Museum Patna. It is a very new museum. It, it's it is in Bailey Road, Patna, and the construction started in 2013. It's a very, very new museum. It opened for public in 2015. And now it has been, and almost 500 crores have been used to make this museum. Basically, the most striking feature of this museum, what I personally think for the galleries, uh, for the children's galleries, for the children's, OK? I and mean, it is tremendously rich. And we all Yakshi, that is in Patna Museum. I, I am not pretty sure whether it has been seen. Because when I last, uh, last time when I visited Patna Museum, it was uh, in the part of the Patna Museum. On the left hand side in the sculpture me gallery, the Dudarganj, the masterpiece of the Mauryan art, it was housed. Now I am moving towards the Western India. Uh, first, I would mention the Albert Hutt Museum, Jaipur. It is situated in Jaipur. I mean, Albert Hutt Museum, it is one of the oldest museums in Rajasthan. It was built in uh, 1876. And um, I mean, it was initially uh, a concept. The concert, I mean, concept came from the uh, establishing the museum in the concert hall, it resembles the architecture of the Victorian Albert Hall Museum in London. Okay, and the, the, the structure in Indo Sasania structure have been followed in architecture. Next, the um, important museum from the Western part is museum. It is absolutely a textile museum, and the very important uh, part of Teleco Museum, what I feel that it discards the very stereotype atmosphere as well as the fragmented and self conscious uh, display design of the conventional museums. The Calico Museum is having fabulous collection of the textile. And it is the only museum in Indian South continent which is having a, it is so, so rich. OK, next, I will move to a palace, Lakshmi Villas Palace Museum. It was, uh, it was, it was built by the Sayajira Gaikwad III in 1890. And it has been converted into part of the palace into museum. The beautiful uh, architecture that is in style. It is very, very striking architecture in Western India. Now I'm moving to Central India. Central India, I think the most important and fascinating museum that is the IGNCA, India Gandhi Rashtra, sorry, India Gandhi Rashtra Manas Sangrala, IGMS, that is um, India Gandhi Rashtra Manas Sangrala. Uh, it is, India is having this, I mean, this is the most largest, biggest, and the beautiful open air museum we are having in subcontinent. Mostly we, we will see that Western countries, I mean, Norway, the concept came from there because they are having the open air museum, that the culture open air museum. India is having this kind of collection, this open air museum collection. Uh, they are mostly exhibit regional culture, OK? Then Central Museum Indoor, it is also established in, in 1923 by, before the 
Indian independence. Okay, the main objective of this institution was to collect photo and documents. Then I am moving to the Southern India. Southern India, I think the most important museum, what uh, I mean, came in my mind, that is Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalaya. Uh, it is. It was a uh, came in existence in 1940, and uh, it is. Uh, it was opened for public in 1922. I think CS MVS Mumbai more than one lakh artifacts and has an outstanding collection comprising of sculptures, terracotta, bronze, excavated materials, paintings, Harappan uh, European paintings, porcelain, ivories from China and Japan. Uh, having a natural history, very strong collection. And the primary major collection was acquired by Ratan Tata Trust and Sri Ratan Tata. Because we, we all know that there is, I think Dr. Bobade has discussed, I can read has discussed or not, we are having different kind of collection policies. And most of this came from the Ratan Tata Trust in Chhatrapati Shivaji Vastu Sangrahala. The archaeological collection was from Marshall and Henry Cousins. Okay. Formerly, it was known as the Prince of in Western India and Mumbai in memory of the visit of Prince of Wales in 1905, was opened for public in 1922. The next museum I will move, I mean, that is the important museum in Southern India, that is the large Museum of Hyderabad. Uh, I think uh, most of us have visited um, this museum in 1914, basically Salal Chand III, after visiting the post of, post of the Prime Minister of uh, His Royal Highness and Nizam the Eighth, Nabab Mir uh, Osman Ali Khan, devoted his entire life in this collection. An important collection is the gems and jewelry, European paintings, and the clock are very, 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 I mean, striking. They are heavy. So with this, complete the journey of the Indian museums and now I hand over to Bobade sir that I think um, he will continue thank you so very much thank you thanks a lot and uh, after this just I want to show you just only two slides at the last and uh, you try to uh, find out something over here. Uh, just a minute. Please give me one minute. By the time I would like to, please, all the participants should fill up the form already shared in the box for your attendance. Okay. Uh, it will be really helpful okay, to who are the participants. Please fill up. And also one more link I'm going to share with you all. Please fill the Google form. Can you see this map? Yes, yes, sir. It's visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, present okay. Kashi Deji. Present T Dena Sati Tumala Sagra Sagra session she notes here karaj. Can uh, can anyone say about this map? Ye map Johe. Special Sangrale ke baare mein dikha hai hai. Ye screenshot lijiye. Try to find out. Google image search kaise karna hai. Prayas kijiye. Aur ye shahar jo hai. Yahaan par kis tarah ke Sangrale hai. Woh aapko find out karna hai. This is one task. Second is here again another museum map. Okay. With the images. Building ka ke images yahaan par diye huye hai. So there are 22 cities. Like the Dharma, uh, Dharampur, Kurukshetra, Sirsa, Gwalior, Bhopal, Nagpur, Mumbai, Gulbarga, up to Guwahati. Okay. So again, I will share this image in our WhatsApp group. Yaha konsa sangrale hai, jiska ye building dikha hai hai, ye aapko likhna hai aur bhejna hai. This is only thing. Okay. So humbly thankful to all of you for this, uh, 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 for this course and journey with all of us. अब यहाँ पर जो है लास्ट स्टडी के बारे में मैं थोड़ा सा एक मिनट बात करना चाहूँगा यस्टरडे मैंने सेशन में बताया था कि मैं एक नोट शेयर करूँगा उसमें कुछ सवाल होंगे और उसके जवाब आपको लिख के भेजने हैं सो फ्यू ऑफ द स्कॉलर्स उन्होंने बहुत अच्छी तरीके से उसे लिखा है रश्मि � uh, I think I will invite Dr. Manu Sharma, our head of the department. Uh, she was, I mean, she is an incredible person 
without uh, her support and the support from my department it was not possible to organize this workshop so i request ma'am please uh, thanks i invite you please unmute yourself madam you are muted yes 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 uh, can you please hear me yes yes thank you so much uh, dr munmun for giving me uh, the opportunity to finally uh, conclude this uh, workshop first of all uh, dr bhujang bobade i am very much grateful um, and uh, i have no words to convey and it is my sincere thanks sincere thanks on behalf of the entire lovely professional university on behalf of dr pavitra prakash singh who is the dean who is the head of school who is the real support and last but not the least it is dr munmul mondal's efforts which she has done which she has invested to get you with us to get you with us because without her efforts we would not have been able to hear such the such a tremendous national archives and museum related information which you have given sir sir mind blowing information you have given even uh, though uh, being a student of history i am not aware of such kind of deep information that uh, though in ancient indian history we have marvels of cultural heritage marvels of rich conservation sites and archaeological sites but the way you present the way you shared your explorations your experiences your 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 entire work and how the archives play a very important role in day to day life it is really sir i am speechless i am really speechless and now i am thinking i would have uh, chosen my career as an archaeologist rather than being a faculty of a history <laughs> so this has yes sir, truly truly i'm saying that i have done something wrong by uh, getting into on only the theoretical part of the history what i have done because what i have i have done it is just a theory but what you have done you have lived the history fine aap logo ne us itihas ko jiya hai aapne us itihas ko apne haathon se sahej ke rakha hai hamari aane wali peediyon ke liye for our coming generations because you have preserved not only preserved you have conserved and the light which you have lit jo roshni aapne jagai hai jo mashal aapne li hai main yahi bolungi ki please isko bahut aage tak leke jaiye so that ki hamare students not only in this university but across india jo ek kitabi gyan padh rahe hain itihas ka wo field mein ja kar ke dekhe ki kitni zarurat hai itihas ko preserve karne ki through these archaeologist sites and museums and conservation kyun why it is important because being a theoretical part of the history mai bolti hu ki history need to be rewritten itihas ko sahi dhang se nahi likha gaya various explanation narrations and uh, ideas likhe hain jinke beech mein clash aata hai but here your work support ye wo saboot hai these are those proofs जो कि सारे कंट्राडिक्शन के आंसर्स है तो वाई नॉट टू प्रिजर्व इट सर तो मेरा यही मानना है कि जो मशाल जो शमा आपने जलाई है वो हमेशा जलती रहे और आप इसी तरह से हमारा मार्गदर्शन करें एंड uh, मैं इस प्लेटफॉर्म पे ऑफिशियली एक अनाउंस करना चाहूंगी एक विद माय हम्बल सबमिशन कि एज लाइक यू वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दी फ्यू कोर्सेज लाइक डिप्लोमा इन आर्केवल आर्केवल स्टडीज और द मास्टर्स इन म्यूजोलॉजी तो इट वुड बी ग्रेट यदि आप हमसे इस तरह का कोई काम करवाएं मैं जरूर इसमें एक शेयर होल्डर तो नहीं कहूंगी जस्ट एक अपनी एक छोटी सी भागीदारी देना चाहूंगी इफ आपको लगे कि हम इस काबिल हैं पहली चीज सेकेंडली इट इट इज जस्ट बिगिनिंग मैं चाहूंगी कि ये जो एसोसिएशन आज प्रोफेसर मुनमुन मॉन्डल ने ब्रिज क्रिएट किया है इट शुड हैव कॉन्टिन्यूड फॉर द फर्दर times to come in the future so uh, sir with these words i just like to officially conclude uh, a thankful note from my side i'm extremely thankful for this collaboration between lovely professional university and the heritage foundation sir uh, this academic exchange of knowledge yasko bole mai gyan ganga ki bhagirathi jo bahi hai through these seven days workshop it has done uh, and it has come to its concluding part today 
uh, it's not only me but the entire teaching fraternity as well as students and the outside participators also they have been benefited from this lightning lecture series which you have shared sir with your experience and work museum conservation uh, heritage and its awareness has become a burning issue in today's world and keeping that in mind this uh, planner lecture series has highlighted the relevant topics which the horizon for the present students as well as fraternity also i hope it will help our history fraternity to be proud as well as concerned towards our contribution to protect and carefully handle it and uh, finally uh, we acknowledge your contribution and looking forward for such kind of collaboration in near future sir so with these words i am humbly i am very much thankful to you sir much much indebted with your uh, deep knowledge which you have given and once again from the entire university from chancellor sir from pro vice chancellor sir from head of school our dean professor pavitra prakash singh and finally from uh, my heart i extend a deep thanks to bhujang sir you and uh, dr munmun mondal you also oh, no ma'am it's a work it's deep on doing keep thank on doing you. such work thank you so much thank you actually despite his health issues he has done a marvelous job i mean that is and, the most yeah. Yes, yes, and I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. आपको लगा होगा कि कैसे मैडम कह रहे हैं, but sir, that time uh, मुझे भी समझ नहीं आया था कि ये पहला दिन है और अचानक sir, we can't afford to have uh, any any bad to happen with you. हम afford ही नहीं कर सकते थे कि आपको कुछ हो. तो ये एक मेरे लिए थोड़ा था. इसलिए आपको उसके लिए थोड़ा बुरा लगा हो. तो मैं उसके लिए एक शमा प्रार्थी हूँ. Please forgive. बोबा जी सर Medicine for me. These sessions become <laughs> medicine for me. Otherwise, Please. if I put it on bed, it will become the disease. But uh, this uh, <laughs> engaging in these sessions, but preparing for the session is what the real medicine for me. So yeah. for the energy, for to give this energy, I'm really thankful to you. And yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you uh, so, so much, much, sir. Time actually. Yeah. yeah and kindly i request all the participant to please mark their presence and give the feedback so that in future we can also have this association with bhujang sir also and continue on the same pace thank you so much on your video uh, yeah sir participants please on your video so that we can take a group photograph I group photograph that. also yes please actually we yes. can contact we can contact them in future okay for any kind yeah. of uh, i mean yes 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 Yeah. Yes. 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 Finally, we got to see each other. It's 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 really very nice to see you all. Yeah. Thank so, you. Yes. Thank you. He wants to say something from South Africa, Dania, Indiana. Yes, Suriji. You want to say something? Okay. Please, to all, please on your video and please take the group photograph screenshots. Okay. Please yeah. on your video. Yes, sorry. Okay. Th thank you so much, uh, Dr. Bojanza, for this opportunity. Uh, we really appreciate by the way you present, and by the way also you give uh, the things for all of us. You know, for me, I have to say here, it has been my first experiences from here to learn something about this museum exactly. I have uh, visited some museum, but to learn about it and have some ideas. I can say it was the first time. That's why sometimes I can have some questions, some wonders, and I can ask from you right now to give me also some answers about it. But for being really honestly, I'm satisfied. Uh, because we are here right now, we are the students. Uh, we need to learn many things. We need also to have some ideas, some experiences, even some skills. Not for saying that uh, about my subject. but we can have like a general knowledge about our lives about our careers that's why i'm i'm with you at any time if i feel like uh, you have any subject i need to learn from that i will be here really honestly i appreciate because about this uh, archives i learned something about it even by the way we have done like uh, conservation and also preservation i understood something uh, from there we can also know like uh, old things 
and that can help you also even like uh, the new generations to know what we have done before. Because if you remove all those things, they will come, they don't have any idea about that, but they will be willing also to preserve also more again. So really, really uh, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate and all of you, even mom also that one, I don't know her name, but I appreciate him too much for presenting daily because you know, it's still hard to work. You know, I believe that what I mean. So thanks all the participants. We are in need more again at any time. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. Namaskar. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. So please see, this is a message for all of us. So Riji is a French language teacher. He's from South African countries. But till then, okay. he's too much interested. When uh, we just posted this course uh, information, then he asked that, can I join? Uh, is it possible? I said that most welcome. So we all are the Indians. When we are studying over here, when we are a part of this culture, this nation, then why should we not be serious about this? So please, yes, this yes, is not a course. Please remember, this is only Google Meet last session. But after this also, I will share the videos, the recordings to you. And okay. after that, this is 32 hours course. Please remember, it's not only just a seven hour. So we'll share the videos, recordings, and after that, any problems, then most welcome anytime you can send me the questions. And now the request to all, please on your video again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because thank you. I'm are ready now here. So please on your video, and we need your million dollar smile on your face. So we can <laughs> take a question. Yeah. Exactly. Anu from Chennai, Tamangi Raji. Madam, Jay sir, sir, if yes. anyone wants to tell you anything, I mean, in this platform, I mean, open the session for them. Any yeah, feedback, yes. anything? If any anyone else want to say something, then please on. The smallest one, Divya Ji, is here. Yes. Divya Pratibhaji. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, for, so, first, I want to thank you because I've been into, I guess, this is my third or fourth session with you. And you've been there in every session. For that, for that, you please say in which class you are studying now. Uh, I'm studying in 11th grade right now. So I'm more interested into history and archaeology. So just grasping up things. And uh, so like you've been into every class I've attended. I really want to say hats off to your patience. And now you're not well, even though you're still attending and explaining us so detailed so complexity i mean hats off sir. thank you and thank you ma'am in fact uh, the starting of the session i thought uh, you will be teaching it today uh, the whole session but unexpectedly sir, sir started it so but apparently uh, everyone was good and i enjoyed the session very much thank you so much thank you thank you so very much see this is an 11th class student and uh, she continually attained all the sessions with uh, completing all the homeworks, assignments. This is what the important thing, because once you start to uh, learn, you need to complete the assignments too. Please remember this because it's for you, not for the organizers. So we are somebody trying to help the university also and all the participants too. Anyway, if anyone else wants to speak, then most of them. to have organized such a wonderful course and this has been truly an international course although it was not mentioned it was mentioned as an stc online a national course uh, program but with the participation of our uh, international colleague it has truly be crossed all national bounds okay. and uh, peripheries so this is truly a, a great learning experience for all of us uh, we do look forward to uh, meet all of you. At least I do really look forward to meet all of you in online, in offline sessions. Because here in West Bengal, we have started complete offline sessions. Uh, 
elections are on but we have absolute offline classes with no online sessions uh, just today i said that i had to be in the meeting and the meeting said that because uh, our institute is being taken by the election commission every time the government of india takes our institution both for conducting elections and for having it a strong room so we will be having restrictions in movements for which we are unable to conduct full fledged offline exams but that's a separate institutional part but i really this is a great learning experience such courses such programs because they help us to know each other to know about each other's researches and to learn so that we can really uh, upgrade ourselves and reach out more uh, to each of us along with our students so every time a teacher doesn't become full fledged with knowledge a teacher has to learn every moment every day and these sessions really help us in that manner it has been a wonderful pr presentation uh, professor mondal it was very fascinating i myself i teach actually museum and archives and in the indian museum of calcutta there used to be a course held by the government of india museum yeah. studies it's no longer being held i know i had been yeah i was uh, selected <laughs> there and i did it during my master classes when i was in my uh, final year master course and that time i really did that uh, museum studies uh, that course by, sponsored by the government of india we had field trips and it was so exciting and yeah, i those still are look forward them. those were golden absolutely days. absolutely ma'am but i do agree that we and i am hopeful that once again we'll get back to our normal kind of like the normative uh, quote and quote that we are used to uh, we will have a good future once again a bright uh, once again brighter sunny days and i think we will be able to have a uh, sponsored trips for our students so that they can go to other states at least in india i don't uh, i'm not too ambitious to take them outside india because there is also fund crunch as we all know and they are not able to sponsor themselves that's not possible but at least to certain parts of western northern and southern india if it's central india if it's possible from eastern india then there'll there'll be a true kind of interaction exactly. and uh, if uh, such interactive courses can be held more i think it will be helpful for our students thank you so much thanks to Bobadi sir, to uh, Professor Sharma, to Professor Mondal, and to every other to, uh, Vice Chancellor sir, and every other person who really helped organize uh, this uh, uh, short term course. So it's short term, but it's having it's going to have a very long term uh, memory and uh, good effect on all of us. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your kind words. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah. yeah can I just Yeah, can I just say something? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm uh, Dr. Rina Lashram from Department of History, Guwahati University. And at the outset, I really appreciate uh, lovely Professional University and, of course, Heritage Foundation for conducting so smoothly the seven-day course. And uh, definitely, in spite of you know having taught for twenty years and more, we have so much to learn because India is so rich in its cultural heritage and. and nobody else can be better than uh, <laughs> bobadi sir uh, that is a good person and uh, i had attended uh, you know two more courses recently and that's how i got to know and uh, of course you know like covid has given us a lot of uh, you know tension and problems and it still continues but i also feel that it is because of covid that you know the online courses has become so popular that it has become very convenient for many people to participate at the same time uh, so this whole process of you know online courses has become so good for us uh, for teachers also and then it's convenient time 6 to 7 etc uh, so i'm really thankful to the resource person and the organizers uh, the only thing that i found is that you know uh, to the bobadi sir because i already have had some interaction with him that the northeast india should be a little bit more focused uh, because if we look at the whole course there is no mention of even one aspect of archives museum library anything of the northeast and last time when i had uh, you know got the opportunity to be a resource person i spoke on the manuscript culture and tradition in northeast india particularly in assam and manipur and very recently in fact uh, the burangi chronicles of northeast india uh, of assam particularly has been translated by you know uh, experts in the field and there are four english translations also now which just came out recently and i just uh, took the copy also from the publishers but uh, 
you know, uh, in courses like this, if we're able to sort of, you know, just connect the Northeast a little bit beyond, like, you know, we always go up to uh, West Bengal and Kolkata and then, you know, never reach. So only thing I saw in the map that you have given, the museum map, uh, not the museum map, the one before that, you, you are asking us to identify the importance of those sites. Uh, so there I found one place called Tamenglong, which is in Manipur, uh, in Northeast India. Uh, so that is because I happen to belong to Northeast. So, you know, immediately there's something familiar, you know. So uh, just my little humble request that next time, uh, just include a little bit more of Northeast India so that, you know, the mainstream media also gets to have a little bit of connection. Otherwise, fantastic and, I mean, um, great work. And obviously, as usual, everybody knows, you know, Mobadi sir. And thank I you agree. to everybody. I, agree, I totally agree because Northeast yeah. India is having something the whole India doesn't have. And for oh, me, yeah. as a source person, humbly I want to say that uh, till now, uh, uh, only Gangato, Sikkim, Bad, Utna hi mene adhyan kiya hai. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. my information now, uh, mm -hmm. I will start my study about this topic. Apne jo bataya, uh, in Guwahati, recently with IIT Guwahati, 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 Guwahati we established one center there. And in next month, it will start. So it is the IKS Center, Indian Knowledge Systems Center. So I will, mm. uh, yes, uh, before two days, we submitted that uh, proposal. And uh, proposal. definitely, I will come there and uh, we will study there. So humbly thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So we'll thank you, Dr. Ray, for your kind words. Thank you so much, ma'am. Anyone? Yes. Did make a sound on here? Ah, it's okay. Anyone want to say something? Uh, if not, then uh, okay. now we'll stop over here. And the journey has come to an end. Yes. Journey has come to an end. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. So it is not an end. It is a beginning, sir. It is a beginning. <laughs> For so from my side, it is not an end. Now I got you. Now I got you. I'm not going to leave you. This is for sure. This is sir. Actually, that is why yeah. so. I mean, all the. Uh, and uh, I am late. Yeah, and I am late. I think I would have to uh, you earlier, but we have to start from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. Because of COVID, started these courses in uh, July uh, 2020. Uh, sorry, 21, and uh, from that time, uh, sorry, 20, and from that time, uh, 40, uh, sorry, 90,000 students from 42 countries, they joined with us. So this is what an opportunity, golden opportunity. And uh, uh, I just I want to say that it's a golden opportunity for me to learn also. क्योंकि इतने सारे स्कॉलर्स और इतने सारे लोग हैं जिनसे अच्छे सजेशंस हमें मिलते हैं उससे हम सीखने का प्रयास करते हैं फॉर एवर आई एम अ स्टूडेंट आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ हिस्ट्री सो आई एम ऑलवेज ट्राइंग टू लर्न सो हमबली थैंकफुल टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स आल्सो फॉर गिव अस द बेस्ट इनपुट एंड योर बेस्ट सजेशंस हमबली थैंकफुल टू यू यूनिवर्सिटी एंड द ऑल द अथॉरिटीज इफ देयर आर एनी मिस्टेक्स अगर कुछ गलती हुई है या फिर भी है सो हमबली आई वांट टू आस्क सॉरी फॉर दैट ऑल and, no, uh, sir. Are... Mistakes, mistakes are ours. The glory is yours. Mistakes are ours. <laughs> we can only say thanks for everything. Thank you so much. We are in need for word again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's appreciable. So we'll meet yeah. again. Yeah, yeah sure, again. sure. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you once again to all the participants, the resource person, Bhujanji and Dr. Munman Munda. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you everyone. Thank you.